Hi guys, it's Raul. This time I really think I'm done. Okay, at least 99.9% .9 done. But uh, here's my finished uh, Harbor Freight teardrop trailer. See? Can y'all read that? Kind of looks like something we all know. Look at that. Yeah, you can tell I like Star Trek. There's my kayak rack thing I built. I say, well, why don't I just put it on the teardrop? Because, you see the solar panel here? It's a 100 watt solar panel. And I'm gonna put one, two, maybe three more right here. And that way the kayaks can still be up there and it won't hurt the, the solar panel, see? Painted all that today. Built this. Bolted it on, heart, uh, tractor supply, got these U-joints. This was from my swimming pool. These uh, poles here, so those are recycled. I don't have a swimming pool, but I still have the cleaner. See? What I could do is put PVC in here, bring it out, and have a little shady area for my trailer. And, uh, there's Boomer. Hi, Boomer, say hi. That's Boomer. Anyway, look inside. Oh, hold on, it's a minute. Okay, here we go. Here's the inside. I had to make my bed up real quick. Sleeps two people. You gotta cover everything up. There's my air condition. Let's turn on the lights here. Turn on some of them. My lights. Take a little blue. A little bit of blue, because the blue moon. There's my back door. My TV is not on. What's going on with my TV? Hmm. And oh. sir, when you're trying to motivate people um, beyond the normal suspects, then and there's my um, today's so called longitude prize. Just mute that, and the little table comes down. See? Yes, uh, when you're ready to put it up, just put it up like that, and then put that in, and it locks it in there. See, that goes up, and my TV, and my clothes over there, and that's the inside of my teardrop. It's a four by six in here, so sleeps two people comfortably, me and my wife sleep in there. Got the back door, got the front door. It locks like that. If they lock it, you can always get out the other side. You can't lock the other side from the outside, only from the inside. And this here is my uh, kitchen area. I always show it to y'all with uh, everything put inside of it. I took some of the stuff out. Here's my little push button propane thingy. Or gas thingy, whatever you call it. There's my propane. Look, I put a little light up here. See that? Pretty cool. So when at night when I go fishing, Turn that on. See, I want to put these here. These are from my truck that I sold. But when I go fishing, I can back up. Got my two fishing rod holders. See that? Got my two chairs right there. They open up. Yep. My ice chest there. I can put, I think, one or two more batteries here. So I have 420 solar watts of power and then three batteries. And uh, why I need so much power? Because I like it. My 1500 watt inverter. And right now it's at 12.7. Probably need to get some water in there. And uh, that's it open up. And here's the other side. Like I said, got my kayaks on top. I gotta strap them down still. It took me forever to get them up there because it's still a little high. See that? And if I have a hailstorm, put a tarp over there to protect the windows. And the kayaks will protect the solar panels when they're up there. When we get to where we're going, we can take the solar panels off and they'll, they'll charge it. And I got a 20 watt in the back. Put all this on. See, it's bolted down. Got all these bolts on it. There's that part I told you I was going to trim. My little window. And see this right here is my back door. You close this from the inside so you can't open it. Let's open it from the inside. There's my kayaks. 
That's my wife's kayak. And that one there is mine. See, that one's mine. There's my motion sensor light, this one right here. At night, it's a motion sensor light. Got it at Sam's. So people walk by, it'll light up, or you open the door, it'll turn on. That's pretty cool, huh? There's my fishing rod holders. But, uh, I've been working on it for a while. Like I said, it's pretty much done. I just need the two more batteries, three more solar panels, and uh, she'll be totally efficient. See, I just gotta turn that on, and then I can run my lights and stuff on it. It tells me how much power is right now. And right now it's not draining anything, so that's my backup, backup power. Because out here we get some good storms. I don't see no clouds. Yeah, there's my pond right there. My pond's on fire. Got no water in it, so it's a good place to burn right now. Apparently the trash man forgot to pick up our trash out here in the country. So I got a dry pond, might as well burn it in there. It rained yesterday, so it's okay. See my yard's still green. All my peach trees and everything. Anyway, that's open. And there you go. My table and everything's all back in there now. So all I gotta do is fold this up. And hold on one second. There you go, that's there. And these fold in, like I said before. And that stops it from going, opening back up. See, they stay closed. And then to close this, I just gotta pull this bar out of here. Hold on one second. Okay, see, and then I just lower that down. And there's my 20 watt solar panel. And I just lock it down right there. Lock that down, put the lock on it. That locks that down. Here it is. There's my kayaks. So tell me what you think, guys. Recycled material, yes, recycled. See, so they're nice and solid. Ooh, look, my trailer's not that heavy, because, see, I can pick it up. It's light. <laughs> I figure it probably weighs about three, 400 pounds, and if I can pick it up, anybody can. So. But what I do if there's a storm? Oh, man. Yeah, I know. Don't want to hit no tornadoes with this thing, but if I do, I'll put some clips here, strap it to the ground, all the way around, anchor it down, and you'll see me uh, trying not to take off in my space shuttle. Beautiful sunset right on my shuttle. Look at that. Anyway, this is Raul from Raul's uh, Tiny House Teardrop Trailers. We'll see you later. Say bye, Boomer. Say bye. <laughs> anyway, see you guys later. My teardrop trailer. Oops, sorry about that.